Hello? Jimmy? Hey, boss. What's up? You didn't show up for work this morning. No, I know. Uh, you won't believe what happened to me last night. This is the third time, Jimmy. I know, I know, I understand. If you let me explain what happened, I think you'll understand. Sorry, Jimmy. You're fired. Oh, come on, boss. Don't do this to me. Let me explain. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This is the third time. Why should I believe you? I, uh, okay. I took massive amounts of money last night, boss, and I am just waking up now. No, you're fired, you motherfucking drug addict. <sighs> my name is Jimmy, and I just got fired from my job. I figured being honest is the right way to go, but I guess I was wrong. It doesn't matter. That wasn't my real job anyways. My real job is I'm a screenwriter. I write movies. I'm serious. I have an agent and everything. I went to school for this shit. Three or four days ago, I didn't think I was a douchebag. I thought I was a pretty nice guy. But after I did Molly last night, I'm having some hesitations. I feel like that type of guy that wouldn't save you no matter what. Even if you're my best friend. Unless there was something in it for me. I guess that's just who I am. I have a headache the size of Texas. If you told me I drank four bottles of whiskey, ate a pound of mushrooms, took eight grams of molly and fucked a couple Asian strippers last night, I believe you. Probably not far from the truth, honestly. Good morning. How are you How doing? How are you? Good. 351. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Keep the change. Thank you. All right, it's time to start retracing my steps and figuring out what the hell happened to me last night. I remember going to my friend Sonia's house party. I call her, but my phone is dead and I can't find my wall charger anywhere. I'm using my car charger right now, but that fucking thing takes forever to charge. Doesn't matter anyways. I'm driving to our house right now. Hopefully she's home.
You know, you got some balls coming here after what happened last I know, week. Sonia. I, I'm here to apologize. I don't even know what I did. You know what you did? You broke my window, Jimmy. You broke my window. How did I break your window? Talk to me. Tell me what happened. I don't even know what you're talking to me. I'm I don't not, know the story I'm behind last night. I'm not telling you night. shit about what happened until you fix my window. I don't have window money on me right now. You better go on get you. some gonna, window money, I'll bro. fix your window. Go get me my money. Your fucking go Christ, get me my money. I'm get your go fucking get money. Go get it. Go get it. Christ. She's never done fucking Molly last night. Yeah, you better run. Get out of here. Twenty-four hours ago, I had three thousand one hundred thirty-eight dollars in my bank account. Now I have zero. Did I even drink last night? I was rolling so hard, I don't even know. I swear I drank a whole one of these. Unless I bought another one and I don't remember. Maybe I bought a whole liquor store and I just don't know it, because apparently I spent three thousand one hundred thirty-eight dollars last night. And I have no memory of any of it. Oh, my phone is finally on. That only took over an hour. Hello? Why did you stand me up last night? Huh? We had plans to go out. We did? You don't remember? No, no, I do. I just forgot. I'm sorry. You forgot? That's all you have to say is that you just forgot? What do you want me to do, lie to you? Well, I was hoping you'd come up with a better excuse than that. <sighs> yeah, you're right, I should. This whole honesty thing's really working against me lately. You know what, Jimmy? I was ready to give you a chance. I was willing to let you show me what kind of man you are. You're an asshole. And you know what? I'm the asshole for giving you a chance. You know what, Steph? You're obviously really upset right now. Can we get coffee or something later and talk about this? Fuck you! <sighs> Usually, when you kill yourself, the things that go through your mind are unexplainable. Things that only the inner human being can understand. You start to think about all the bad things you did and all the bad things that ever happened to you. And you try to think of what could you have done to change all that. Most of the time though, you can't come up with a clear answer. None of that was going through my head though. The only thought I had was how cold this fucking water was going to be once I stepped in to drown myself to death. It's going to be really cold. I should have thought of a better way to kill myself, but there I go thinking like a normal suicidal person would. Regrets from the previous scenes in life. You gotta love them. Fuck that. Way too cold. I'll just hang myself at home. When I got home, I realized I still had half a pack of cigarettes left and about six grams of Cali Kush. There's some food in the fridge too, and if I kill myself, all that shit would've been to waste. Plus, I was in the writing mood. And since I'm jobless, I should start banging out some more screenplays and get some money. Tommy, what's going on? Can I come in? Sure. So, uh, what do I owe this pleasure? Today's the deadline. You got the script ready? What? You were reminded a number of times. No, no, no. What's today? What's the date? December 2nd. Holy shit. You don't have it. Dude. I'm on the third draft right now. You know what? I knew this would happen. I knew you'd screw me. I don't know why I stuck my neck out. Tommy, Tommy, relax. We can just give him the second draft. I'm not giving a professional a second draft. What am I supposed to do, man? I didn't know it was today. I didn't know, I didn't know the date today, man. You know what? You blew it. You blew it. 
Tom, out of here. Tommy, come on. No, you know something? You gotta stop with these drugs. They turn your brain into fluff. And you, you know what sucks? Is you're better than this and you fucking know it. The thing is, guys, some projects work out, some don't. But this industry will break your heart a hundred more times than a female ever could. But I promise you, I will never stop doing my thing. I'll never stop writing movies. It's just, this shit is hard. I'll tell you one thing, though. I'm never taking Molly again. And honestly, guys, you shouldn't either. Unless crystal meth and rat poison is your thing, this shit makes your brain look like Swiss cheese. And the worst fucking part about it, guys, is there ain't no cure for the morning Molly Blues. <laughs> Tell me, who can you trust these days? Love's gone astray, find my insecurities in the ashtray. Everything about me, fuck a do rate. Even melody, kill harmony for some radio play. Roll up my sleeves to hide my heart, cause both love and war are an art. So I ask, if we part, do your part. Cause we both made a promise to leave a mark Remember what it is that we first stood for When our passion burned bright when our souls were still pure Cause the honesty in your eyes Is the only thing keeping me alive If I'm falling, will you be there to catch me Or will you go on your own? Nothing but a masterpiece crafted by the angels in heaven, that's where we had to be. But if